Welcome back to another video. After a little cleaning uh, in the house, I found what I think is an underrated gem of a game series, and that would be the Resistance series for the PS3. Let's start with the first game in the series, Resistance, Fall of Man. Right? I think this was my first co-op game for the PS3, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was also the first time I've ever played a first-person game using a controller. It was, let me tell you, it was a weird experience because prior to playing this game, for me personally, first-person shooters games was always played with a mouse and keyboard and nothing else. Right? Yes, there were quite a few FPS games, first-person shooter games in the PS2, you know, Black and, um, you know, the first Killzone and, and whatever else there is. And then there's obviously Halo for the Xbox, but I wasn't interested in playing them on a console with a controller, hence why I completely skipped them. Uh, it even took me several years to finally be convinced that playing certain first-person games using a controller was enjoyable, right? Anyway, back to Resistance. Like I mentioned before, I played co-op in this game with a friend. Um, not online co-op, but couch co-op. So the best kind of co-op gaming. And you can see this information on the back, so if I kind of get in closer, there it is. It says one to four players, right? Nowadays, you only see a single digit, but back then it was anywhere from one to two players, one to four, two to four, even one to seven. If you're playing, you know, something like uh, Pro Evolution Soccer or something. Um, but here you see the one to four. So just a bit of um, uh, information. This game has two player couch co-op, right? The number four, is actually for an offline versus mode, not a four-player story cop. There's also a 40-player uh, online mode. I can't remember if I tried this. Um, you know, the 40-player online mode, I, I mean. Uh, this game also does not support any trophies. After all, this was one of the, I believe, 12 original games at launch for the PS3, right? And like I said, if you haven't already tried this, please do. This is such a good game, okay? Anyway. Uh, so, what do you get inside in the Resistance Fall of Man, All right? So, if we open it up, uh, obviously we get the Blu-ray disc. Now, the Blu-ray disc is designed or printed or painted in such a way that it looks like one of those film reel canisters, as you can see here. And if I take out the disc, underneath that and print it on the inside of the cover is a film reel. Look at that, that's a nice touch, okay? It is a nice touch from the uh, art department, all right? Let's put that back. The other things that you get in here are, number one, a flyer promoting Gran Turismo HD, which you can download for free if you sign up your uh, sign up for PlayStation Network with your PlayStation 3 system. You can download for free. I'm pretty sure I have this in my uh, PS3 system, uh, but there it is, All right? And on the back, you just got these four games, Lemmings, Ghost of Doku, Blast Factor, and Tekken 5. Uh, Dark Resurrection. Okay. Uh, the other thing you have here is the obviously the booklet, or in this case called the Officer's Journal. Um, going through them, going through it. Sorry, uh, you have you know obviously the usual how to set up. Um, you know crosshairs, grenade indicator, damage arrows, main menu, you know, etc. You've got the campaign, uh, playing the game, uh, weapons options, multiplayer, co-op. Uh, what I've got here, multiplayer, multiplayer options, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I've played this, but uh, it sounded fun, but there's no point. Um, I believe the servers are have been offline since, what, 2014, I think? I, I don't know if that's for the latest game, or I don't know if it's, if for, if it's for every single game, but it, it's, it's offline, there's no way you can play it. And then you've got the, um, the online, different online modes right there, Team Deathmatch, Meltdown, Breach, Capture the Flag, Deathmatch, Conversion, etc. And the controllers uh, are actually printed on the back of the booklet or the guidebook. Right there it is. Okay, next up in the series, I just put this back here. Next up is Resistance 2, again for the PS3. I also enjoyed this game, okay, but not as much as the first one. I think it's because I was expecting another good co-op game, especially when you see the one to two player, you know, uh, icon on the back, which is printed right there, one to two players. I thought, oh, okay, well, you, yeah, you can play co-op. Unfortunately, this game is a single player game, in terms of story mode, at least. There is a two player co-op mode that you can play offline, 
uh, there is an, also an 8 player cop online mode as well. And there's also a 60 player online competitive mode um, in, in here as well. Okay. Uh, for me, the multiplayer in Resistance 2 was the highlight, more so than the single player, sorry. Yeah, such a shame that you know, the servers are not closed. All right. Now, just, uh, just going back a little bit, if you weren't sure what I was talking about in terms of the two-player cop and the eight-player cop, so the two-player cop aspect of this game, obviously couch cop, you can play with your, with your friend, and you can choose from several different classes, I think, I think two or, th or three different classes, and then you can, you can play the cop against hordes and hordes of Chimera, and you can level up, right? You also can play, like I said, an eight-player online cop. So you can play, uh, you can play with your friend, you know, a couch cop, and then you can you can join in another, you know, with um, online with another six players on top of that. Hence the eight-player cop mode. All right, and then the um, sixty-player online competitive mode that's got you know all different modes. Okay. Anyway, let's see what's inside. All right. If we oh, open it up, there it is. Now the the artwork. Again, on the uh, on the CD on on the Blu-ray disc uh, has continued from the first one. So the disc is designed again to look like a film reel canister, as you can see here. So if I uh, take that off, underneath that is a uh, film reel. Okay, it's it's a nice touch. It's a real nice touch. Uh, on the on the left here we have just the booklet. Right there's well, if you want to see, there's the the inside of it. There's the artwork, really nice. The booklet, Modern Technology, uh, there it is, gives you um, uh, a few things obviously, so let's see here, what do you get, uh, how to set it up, All right? the default controls, game screen, pause menu, campaign mode, uh, you know, playing the game, etc, alternative weapon zoom, uh, you know, cop mode, competitive mode, playing online, there it is, it, it, it's, uh, it's right there, so um, if you want to pause this and read it, uh, if you, hopefully you can read that, that's what it says uh, under cop, cop mode and competitive mode. All right, and the last page is just the allies menu and multiplayer tips. And finally, the back shows you Ratchet and Clank. Okay, but that is Resistance 2. And again, like I said, if you haven't uh, tried this or haven't played it, um, yeah, find it on eBay or wherever um, and yeah, see if you can get a copy. It's 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 also good. It's good. Uh, I I enjoy both um, first one and the second one. Okay, so the final game in the series is Resistance Three. Now the copy that I own is the Survivor Edition. Ah, oh, look at that bad boy. Okay, it comes in this nice big box. All right, look at that. Compared to my, actually, no, compare it with this. Don't compare it to my hands. There it is. So you have a, an idea of roughly how big it is, right? There we are. Okay, so this box, it's, it's got a nice artwork to it. It's, it's the, the Chimera skull is embossed, right? You get their uh, New York skyline. Uh, I believe that's New York, maybe, with the Liberty um, uh, statue. The um, embossing here is nice. Uh, and it also, um, uh, you know, this looks like it's um, it's embossed in a way that it looks. It, it, I'm not sure, but it, I guess it emulates the surface of a skull, right? It's, it's one of the nicer looking boxes out there. You can see here. Hopefully, there, there it is. You can see all these different, um, you know, little um, pointed holes, you know, uh, craters. But it, it is embossed. Also, the back. Now, depending on which way you look at it, this can be the front or the back. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh, there it is. This is also embossed again, as you can see there, right? And there's a silhouette of, um, what's the name? Joseph Capelli, I believe. Okay, so it's, it's a nice touch. Uh, there's top of, yeah, well, I guess this is the front end, since this is, um, you know, it's looking this way. There it is, uh, nothing special on the bottom. One side shows you what you normally get, or what you normally see at the back of the disc. Okay, uh, the other side gives you an idea of what is inside. Uh, of the box here, what the contents are, what you get for purchasing um, this this box. Okay. Now, also to note, if you haven't already um, uh, figured it out, this game can be played fully using the PS Move. It's PlayStation Move compatible. Right. Also, you can play it with a sharpshooter controller, which is the um, gun attachment. Uh, it's either it either comes in orange or I think. Um, light gray, white, sort of whitish color, 
But there it is. Okay. Before I show you, before I open this box, I also want to show you the contents. Right there, it is. Uh, content list on the side. All right there, we are. That's what you get inside. Okay. All right. Now, before I open this box and actually show you the contents, uh, I have to let you know that I have misplaced the Chimera firing range target, which is this thing here, this bad boy right here. Okay. I have searched everywhere in my house and I just cannot seem to locate it but once I do I'll film it upload it to YouTube so um yeah be on the lookout for that hopefully in the next future I'll um I'll try my best I'll do my best to to search for um uh yeah for for that okay anyway let's open it up right and see the contents okay so here we go it also comes in uh in another box as you can see here so it's a box within a box All right there we are and let me just reposition myself. There we go. So let's start off with the game itself. Okay, there we are. It comes in this nice steel case, uh, which is further placed inside of a plastic sleeve, as you can see here. And also, one more thing I forgot to mention. In addition to being able to play this game with the PS Move and the, um, uh, the Sharp Shooter Control, you can play this game in stereoscopic 3D, right? Denoted by that icon right there. So you, if you still have a 3D TV uh, from, I don't know, was it 2013 or something or 2012, you can play this game in 3D. Uh, among many other games, uh, you know, released around that era, right? I've still got mine and I can still play this in 3D. Uh, still works and, uh, but yeah, I haven't tried it again. Anyway, um, the steel case, right? So if I if I take off the sleeve, the back of it just basically shows you that, right? Which is similar to what you saw before. On the side, I'll put it back. The steel case has a Chimera skull logo at the front. Uh, the back just gives you a Resistance 3 uh, logo there, right? along with the PS3 logo on top, right? It's got a it's got a sort of um, a matte uh, feel to this, right? So it's not uh, it's not shiny, it's not smooth, All right? So inside, oh, there we go. The Blu-ray disc is designed to look like vinyl, even feels like vinyl. So hopefully you can see this. If I, there it is, right? See these? There are grooves in, on, on the disc, so hopefully you can hear this. Okay, there it is. All right, it's a nice touch, right? Obviously there's the, there's the back of it, you know, normal CD, but yeah. It looks like vinyl. Okay, it's, it's, apparently it's, a, it's special. Okay, right, uh, vinyl effect Blu-ray disc according to uh, to the side there. Okay, and then you get a few things also. Uh, there it is again the the silhouette of Joseph Capelli. So the first thing you get is the DLC code um, for the special edition right there. All right, and there's also a booklet. All right. Oh, and by the way, the special edition. Um, I'll just show it there. The special edition DLC code, uh, oh, there it is, uh, gives you a multiplayer booster, SRPA Black Ops skin, infected Nathan Hale skin, a multiplayer Sentinel title, and air fuel grenade. All right, that's what the DLC code gives you. Anyway, moving on to the booklet itself, there is the booklet or the guidebook, and you've got all the online uh, features. Uh, there's a net network pass with the voucher code. Right, so the booklet. Yeah, you know, there's the um, uh, story so far, how to set it up, uh, calibrations, default controls, uh, more controls, the PlayStation Move controls, there we are, uh, you know, resistance, weapons, secondary fire, replenishing ammo upgrades, multiplayer mode, grenades, and voucher code terms and condition. And that is what you get inside of the booklet. Okay. Right, now, the rest of the contents, as you saw before, uh, sits inside this canvas satchel. So let's me, let me just pull this out. There we go. There we are. Okay. I'm going to move this slightly uh, back. Okay, let's, uh, let's open this up one by one, right? The first thing I'm going to show you is this. This is the SRPA hip flask, right? There's a raised logo, uh, resistance logo in the front. 
also uh, that, that's razor. Oh, I don't know. You want to call this embossed? Let me see. See if I can uh, zoom in here. There we go. Resistance, and that is also embossed or raised. Okay. You can also open the cap. Ta-da! I don't know. If you can see that, but you can also yeah, you can you you can use this. I guess. I, I don't recommend you drinking out of this, to be honest with you, um, because of health reasons. Uh, it is made from uh, six ounces of stainless steel, according to this. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Where's my zoom? There we go. Somewhere there. Anyway, yeah, it says stainless steel, uh, six ounces down there, right? So there's the hip flask. Let me just put this uh, on the side there. Okay. Next up, we have the SRPA playing cards. Uh, now, unfortunately, and I'm sorry to say, I like to keep this wrapped, so I won't be opening it. Um, there it is. There's the playing cards, right? But I'm sure there are other, you know, other videos out there that will show you the contents uh, of the pack. I mean, it's just a standard, you know, you know, playing cards. But I just, yeah, I haven't opened mine. All right. Next up, we have Joseph Capelli's journal. Okay, there it is. Uh, it's got also got this um, rubber, uh, you know, thing here that keeps it closed, right? And if we open it up, it feels um, it feels kind of leathery. I would say, it's. I mean, yeah, it feels kind of leathery. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word, but there it is. There's the inside. I'll I'll go through all the. I'll try to go through all the pages. Uh, there's the first page. Right, so it's basically in, in, in the style of a, a real journal from Joseph Capelli. There is the second page. That's Malakov, by the way. Wife and kid. Grim. I think these are the new enemies uh, on in the game. Hybrids are new enemies as well. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this. You got long legs. You got ravagers. Uh, these are all the different weapons that you can get. The bomb, uh, grenade. Sorry. And then uh, yeah, and then you you also um, get several empty pages uh, that you can use, as you can see there, right? With well, some of them have have images, obviously. Um, but yeah, why, why would you? Why would you want to use this, right? I mean, me, personally, no, I would never write anything in this. Keep it, you know, keep it clean, keep it, keep it mint, right? But there it is, the journal. And then you get these toy soldiers, right? They're 49 cents each. Not really, but, you know, <laughs> there it is. Fight for freedom. So it's basically little toy soldiers that you normally get. Um, you know, you got the uh, yeah, you got the chimeras there. You got the uh, human soldiers, uh, and there is the back of it. All right, ten pieces uh, in here. Okay, very nice. And finally, you have the canvas satchel itself, which is right here. Okay, it's a, it's a full size satchel. You've got the resistance logo here. It's a bit weathered. You've got the resistance three logo down here, and you can basically use this. You can you can lock this, and these are these are metal, by the way. Uh, again, let me just quickly zoom in here. Yeah, there it is. They are metal. All right. Um, yeah, there's the back of it. You can hang it. But um, yeah, there's a satchel, and and of course there is also the missing target. Um, you know the, the chimera uh, target practice which which I unfortunately cannot show you today but I will try my best to find it and show you later so like I said be on the lookout for that video um, anyway thanks always as always for watching hit that like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video see you later